Holy Father, I come before you this morning with a heart full of gratitude, lifting up my voice in praise to you, the giver of life and the sustainer of my soul. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I acknowledge your greatness and sovereignty over my life, and I am humbled by the depth of your love and grace. As I rise today, Lord, I ask that you would draw near to me, guide my steps, and be glorified in all that I do. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Savior and Lord, I offer this prayer. Father, I come before you this morning to pray for the friendships in my life, especially for the gift of true Christian friends. I thank you for the sisters in Christ whom you have placed in my life, those who encourage me, uplift me, and help me to walk in faithfulness to you. Your word reminds me of the value of godly friendships. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Proverbs 27, 17. I am so grateful for the women who sharpen me, who speak truth into my life, and who help me to grow in my relationship with you. Lord, I ask that you continue to strengthen the bonds of friendship that I have with my sisters in Christ. Let our relationships be grounded in your love and truth. And may we reflect the beauty of Christian fellowship as we support and encourage one another. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. Ecclesiastes 4, 9-10 I thank you for the times when my friends have helped lift me up in times of struggle. And I pray that I can be that same source of encouragement for them. Father, I pray for true friendships that are rooted in Christ, where we can speak openly, honestly, and lovingly about our faith, our struggles, and our victories. Help me to be a friend who listens, who prays, and who always points others back to you. Your word says, A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. I want to be a friend who loves in all seasons, whether in times of joy or in times of adversity. Give me the grace to love others well and to be the kind of friend who reflects your love and kindness. Lord, I pray that you would surround me with friends who challenge me to grow in my faith and who encourage me to pursue righteousness. I know that the company I keep can have a profound impact on my spiritual walk, so I ask that you help me to form deep, Christ-centered friendships with women who are passionate about following you. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. 1 Corinthians 15.33 Help me to be discerning about the friendships I cultivate and to seek out relationships that are edifying, encouraging, and Christ-honoring. Father, I also pray for those who may not have the blessing of close Christian friends. I ask that you provide them with the companionship and fellowship that they need so they may experience the joy and strength that comes from walking with godly friends. Help me to be a welcoming presence in the lives of others, especially those who may be lonely or struggling to find community. Let me be a friend to those who need one, offering the love and support that you have so freely given to me. Lord, as I lift up my relationships with my friends, I also ask that the beauty of Christ would be seen in me. More than anything, I desire to reflect your love, your grace, and your character in all areas of my life. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew 5.16 May the light of Christ shine brightly through me, so that others are drawn to you and not to me. Let my life be a living testimony of your love and power. 
Father, I ask that you would cultivate in me a heart of humility, so that I may serve others as Christ served. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. Philippians 2, 3, 4 Help me to lay aside selfish desires and to seek the good of others, especially my friends and loved ones. Let me follow the example of Christ, who humbled himself and became a servant. Teach me to love sacrificially, to give generously, and to serve with a heart full of compassion. Lord, I ask that the beauty of Christ's love would be evident in my words and actions. Help me to speak words of life, encouragement, and truth, always being mindful of how my words affect others. The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life. Proverbs 10, 11. Let my words bring life to those around me, and let them be seasoned with grace and kindness. Help me to avoid harsh or careless words that may cause harm, and instead... Let my speech reflect the love and wisdom of Christ. Father, I pray that your peace would dwell within me and be evident to others. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Colossians 3.15 In a world filled with chaos and uncertainty, I ask that your peace would reign in my heart and mind. Let others see the calm and trust I have in you, knowing that you are in control of all things. Let my life be a witness to the peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace that is found only in Christ. Lord, I also pray that your joy would be my strength and that it would shine through me as a testament to your goodness. The joy of the Lord is your strength, Nehemiah 8.10 No matter what circumstances I face, help me to find joy in you, for you are the source of all true joy. Let my joy be contagious to those around me, and let it point them to the joy that is found in a relationship with you. Father, I ask that you would help me to grow in patience and kindness, especially in my interactions with others. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. 1 Corinthians 13.4 Let the beauty of Christ's love be reflected in how I treat others with patience, understanding, and gentleness. Help me to bear with others in love especially in difficult or trying situations. Teach me to show grace, even when it is difficult, and to extend the same mercy that you have shown me. Lord, I desire that my life would be a fragrant offering to you, pleasing in your sight. For we are to God the pleasing aroma of Christ among those who are being saved and those who are perishing. De Corinthians 2.15 Let my life be a sweet aroma that rises to you, reflecting the beauty of Christ in everything I do. I pray that others would see your love, your grace and your truth in me, and that they would be drawn closer to you through my witness. Father, I ask that you would continue to transform me into the image of Christ. And we all, who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory, are being transformed into His image with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. 2 Corinthians 3.18 I know that I am a work in progress, and I ask for your Spirit to continue working in me, shaping me into the woman you have called me to be. Let the beauty of Christ shine through me more and more each day, as I seek to live for your glory. Lord, as I go into this day, I ask that you would go before me. 
Guide my steps, direct my thoughts, and fill my heart with your love. Let the beauty of Christ be evident in all that I do, and help me to be a light to those around me. I pray that you would bless my friendships, helping me to nurture and cherish the relationships you have given me. Help me to be a true friend who reflects the love of Christ and encourages others in their walk with you. I offer this prayer in the precious and powerful name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Amen. We believe this prayer has added virtue to your faith and is already active in your life. We invite you to share your response by commenting, Amen. Your engagement is more than just support. It's a way to spread hope and faith. If you feel inspired, Please share this video with your friends and family, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily prayers that uplift and inspire. Your involvement is invaluable to us. We also welcome your prayer requests. Feel free to leave them in the comments, and together, as a community, we will bring them before God. Your faith and our collective prayers can create a powerful force for blessings and victory. Remember. You're not just a viewer. You're a vital part of this journey of faith. Each like, share, and subscription helps us reach more hearts every day. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ accompany you always.